Hey, hope everybody's doing okay today. Today is Saturday and uh, in a great mood today and it's uh, it's a little hot but not too bad. The uh, clouds are out a little bit so that's cooling things off. And uh, after all the problems with the scammers and bloggers and all that, we're gonna talk about a happy subject today. Uh, I've had people say, well, what, how do you keep the dogs from getting in your garden or in your flower beds? And so here's my wife's garden. And you can see there's, see his dogs running all over the place. And I'm gonna sort of get down. You see this little fence right here? This is real easy to do. You buy that fencing at Home Depot or Lowe's and you buy these little T-post, drive them in the ground and then just attach that fence. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna stand beside of it. It's neat, comes up to my knee. So if you have Yorkies, it doesn't have to be that high. And you can see, we just had a big rain. And you see there how pretty. And we've got tomatoes growing up the deck. They're so doing good. And that's a daggum hot pepper plant plant there. And it's about five feet tall. Got carrots. These are all potatoes over here. But uh, had a few people ask me about the fencing, so I just wanted to address that. Get down low here, like I'm a dog. Hey, quit. the dog's trying to knock the camera out of my hand. Get down. But anyway, you can see there's the heat pump, and it comes about halfway up, the fence does. And I mean, if we can keep all these dogs out of the garden, I'm sure if you've got one or two dogs, It'd be pretty easy for you. And I mean, I might be telling something that everybody already knows, but I have had a few people ask me about it. But I hope everybody... Oh, I had another subject I was going to tell you. I read an article the other day, and it said, Yorkies, out of all small dogs, Yorkies are the number three best emotional support dog there is. And then, in a separate article, I read where Yorkies are the least expensive dogs to own as far as cost and it was talking about dogs that have cataracts and dogs that have female problems and uh, small dogs that have arthritis and hip dysplasia and I was reading about all this and I'm like good lord it was talking about this dog you know is going to be eight thousand dollars in vet bills and all on and on and it said Yorkies were by far number one as far as not having problems, not having genetic, pre, you know, predisposition for genetic issues. And so I thought that was real good. And then as far as the emotional support dogs, you know, you think about it, you, and this, I didn't read this, I'm just coming up this part on my own. But let's say you're sitting around the apartment or the house and you're, maybe by yourself or your spouse is at work and you know you're sitting there thinking about your problems and your bills and you need to do five loads of laundry and you need to buy groceries and you need to fold clothes and you know you're just sort of overwhelmed got all these tasks and I don't know thinking about life and, but you know you get a little puppy like this when it's seven weeks old and you start taking care of the puppy and you don't really realize it, but the puppy's starting to take care of you. And now instead of you thinking about you and all your problems, now you're thinking about taking care of your precious little puppy. And the little puppy is thinking about taking care of you. And all of a sudden, you know, life looks a little better. So that's my two cents on why it helps to have a dog in your life. But hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, and we look forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.